given question determine the reactions at a b and d of the compound beam neglect the self weight of the members let us understand given question with the help of diagram this is the question of compound beam if we observe the end a then roller support is given at point b hinged support is given at point c both the beams a b as well as c d are in contact with roller and at point d hinged support is given for beam c d uniformly varying load is given from 3.1 newton meter to 12.1 newton meter over a span of 5 meter we will first draw the free body diagram for this given system we will make here one construction i will draw one horizontal line passing through 3.1 newton meter load now if we observe the load below this red line is known as uniformly distributed load and this load equal to 3.1 newton per meter over a span of 3 meter plus 2 meter that is 5 meter so i will write here uniformly distributed load and what is the magnitude so how to calculate total magnitude for this uniformly distributed load 3.1 multiplied by 3 plus 2 that is 5 now what is the point of application of this load so for uniformly distributed load we have to consider the middle point that is known as centroid so centroid is middle point of 5 meter that is 3 plus 2 5 and divided by 2 that is 2.5 meter from point c from point c now if we observe the load above this red line then it is known as uniformly varying load so from this point here it is 0 newton per meter up to 12.1 newton per meter so i will write here uniformly varying load so how to write its a magnitude so if we observe this triangle magnitude equal to area of this triangle that is half multiplied by base multiplied by height so how to find out this height so we will take here 12.1 minus 3.1 that is 9 newton per meter now i will write here magnitude that is half multiplied by base that is 5 meter multiplied by height so this height is equal to 9 newton per meter now how to find out centroid so centroid that is the point of application of load so centroid if we observe this point of application of load is 2 by 3 multiplied by this total distance that is span is equal to 5 meter so 2 by 3 multiplied by 5 from this left hand side and 1 by 3 multiplied by 5 from this right hand side so we will consider here then this is the span that is we can say centroid so this is the point of application that is at a distance of 2 by 3 into 5 from the left hand side and at a distance 1 by 3 into 5 from the right hand side so we have to show all these things in the free body diagram now what about this roller at point c so it is in contact with both the beams now if we observe here roller is on the upper surface of beam ab and this roller is in the downward side of this beam cd so we have to show the reaction both are in opposite direction but equal in magnitude and the reaction at point c is known as rc so first we will show here reaction at point a so here roller support is given and which is in the downward direction of this beam ab so we have to show downward direction and the direction is towards beam ab and reaction at point a is known as ra 
Now we will move to the point C. So for point C, both are in opposite direction. And direction we have to show towards the beam. So here is upward direction for beam CD and here is downward direction for beam AB. So this is known as RC. So both are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. Now what about B and D? So B and D are the hinged support. So reaction can be in any direction. So we have to show horizontal component and vertical component at point B and at point D. But if we observe this diagram here, uniformly varying load is acting only in downward direction. So this horizontal component of the reaction is nearly equal to zero. So we have to show only vertical component at point B and at point D. Because if we observe the whole system, there is no any inclined force. But the force only in vertically downward direction. So the action will be in opposite direction that is only in vertically upward direction. So I will show here at point B that is known as RB and at point D known as RD. Now we have to show the centroid for the uniformly distributed load and uniformly varying load. Now from point C to this length here this total span is equal to 3 plus 2 5 meter so I will show this whole span So if we observe the middle point, then we have to show here the middle point that is the centroid for the uniformly distributed load and it is equal to 3.1 into 5. Now we will show uniformly varying load. So centroid is 2 by 3 into 5 from this left hand side. So I will show here. So its a magnitude is 1 by 2 into 5 into 9. Now we will show its a exact location that is here. We will distribute this whole distance 5 meter into two parts. So for this right hand side it is 1 by 3 into 5 and this left hand side it is equal to 2 by 3 into 5. So this is the diagram. Now for this A to C distance is 2 meter and then C to B is equal to 3 meter. So we will also show this. We will move to the calculation part. For beam CD if it is in equilibrium then summation of moment of all the forces about any point is equal to 0. We have to find out reaction at point C as well as reaction at point D. So if we take summation of moment of all the forces about point C is equal to 0, then how we can solve this? So we have to take the first force RD. Now how to take the moment of this force RD about point C? So if I move the compass about point C in the direction of RD, then here is this direction. It is in anticlockwise and for anticlockwise we will take negative sign. So minus Rd multiplied by perpendicular distance. So perpendicular distance is 5 meter plus 2 meter that is equal to 7 meter. Now we will move next. Then 3.1 into 5. So for this load if we take the moment of this load then if I move the compass about point C in the direction of this 3.1 into 5 then it is in clockwise direction so we will take positive sign so plus 3.1 into 5 multiplied by perpendicular distance so this point is at the middle point so perpendicular distance is 2.5 now we will move to the next load half multiplied by 5 multiplied by 9 so if 
and move the compass about point C in the downward direction then it is also in clockwise direction so we will take positive sign so plus 1.2 into 5 multiplied by 9 multiplied by perpendicular distance so this distance is equal to 2 by 3 into 5 and which is equal to 0 so in this equation only one unknown term Rd and it is equal to 60 Newton now we will move to the next now we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0 now this time Rd is known and only one unknown term Rc now from the diagram we will take for the upward direction forces positive sign so Rc plus Rd minus 3.1 into 5 minus 1.2 into 1 by 2 into 5 into 9 is equal to 0. So only one unknown term that is Rc and Rc is equal to 21.4 Newton. So this is the answer Rd as well as Rc. Now we have to find out Rb. Now we will move to the equilibrium of this beam AB. Now if we observe this Rc is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So we can use this magnitude 21.4 Newton. Now here Ra and Rb both are unknown. So for equilibrium of this beam AB we will consider summation of moment of all the forces about point A is equal to 0. So force multiplied by perpendicular distance. So if we observe, if I move the compass in the direction of the RC about point A, then it is in the clockwise direction. So we will take positive sign. So RC multiplied by 2, then if I move the compass about point A in the direction of RB, then here is anti-clockwise direction. So take negative sign. So minus RB into perpendicular distance 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 is equal to 0. So Rc is known. So Rb is equal to 8.5 Newton. Now we have to find out Rb. So the Rb is known. So this is the answer that is the reaction at point B. Now we have to find out Ra. So for this beam AB we will take summation of all vertical forces is equal to 0. So Ra plus Rb minus Rc is equal to 0 and only one unknown term Ra and it is equal to 12.8 Newton.